six. Are you available? Copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that crumpet shop off Post Alley. Thanks, 303. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10th. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. It's gonna be all right. Tonight, don't be late, losers. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there. What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well... The suspense is killing me. It's dad. Wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Mm. Oh, it's Jen. Saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So... So what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself.
Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <sighs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are don't you doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. <sighs> this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. All oh, right, blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C O N D O. Oh, stop! You're out of room, punk. Is this how you see a penis? Damn, you should try and actually see one for real. You don't want to go down that road, dude. My chances of scoring tonight are probably ten times yours. <laughs> you wish. Ugh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Should change us so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> No way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. But I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No fair. Shh, shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I I have to go uh, get ready for a party and stuff. 
So, well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletail. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week. Or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. You're both guilty. Of wasting my time. Case closed. What? No fair. Dad! Dad, Dad! What is this? Mm. My own flesh and blood tosses me under the bus. He sucks. Okay. Back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together. Like you always do. Yeah. I have to work in my room, too. Yeah? Don't hurry back. Okay, let's get this party list started. It's good to be the judge. That's right. Que pendejo. Dad flips out if I don't pick up my stuff. But Daniel leaves his shit all over. Every Christmas, Dad wants to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy with us. That's cool. Man, is there any more boring sport than baseball? <laughs> but you do. Dad hates sushi. But he orders it anyway for us. I'm not that into cars, but these are pretty bitching. Tangle spends hundreds of hours yelling into the mic playing Minecraft with Noah. I don't know who plays more, Daniel or Dad. I could just stay home and binge Top Gear with Dad and Daniel, but what if Jen came over? Mm, we can build a fire and... <sighs> Dude, stop. Better pack for the party. It's nice going jogging with Dad every once in a while. Though he's way too chatty. Dad tries so hard to get on a healthy diet. I can't wait for him. Real funny, Dad. Meet the Diaz, organization experts. I need to take care of that party list. That would be sick to just go... I 
save the world. Asshole. Very funny, Lila. Good thing my boss has a sense of humor. Kind of. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Okay. Don't be a stalker, Sean. Man, this is taking forever. Oh my god. The internet was a mistake. Damn. I still have like 10 books left in the series. I won't finish until I'm 20. Dad wants me to keep this junk as backup. Right. <sighs> Not sure Daniel was ready to be an uncle yet. We got these for free during sex ed last year. Oh. Hi, Gunther. Sorry. You stay hidden here. Lila provides the weed tonight. I better be ready. My first hangover. Dad laughed at me so hard when I came back home. Man, I so don't want to work this weekend. I should practice instead of putting it up here. But it looks pretty rad. Well, it's not my turn to do the laundry. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen. Okay. Better take that instead. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. I hope there's also, like, real food at this party. Damn, if 
Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? How long is he gonna keep all this shit? That you, Choco Thief? It's me, Daniel. Cool. Can you tell your big brother he's grounded tonight, when you see him? Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure, can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, uh, shoot, must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's- Hey, I got it. I think. Nah. I need one with the black switch on it. So I can change its direction. Did you get your English midterm back? Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so confident about the essay you wrote. Yeah, I think Mrs. Calloway is just prejudiced against Vonnegut. But Slaughterhouse-Five is amazing. Hey, you don't got to tell me. Here you go. Hmm, you should have a flex head. I can't reach that bolt otherwise. Is that it? Hmm. Wrong size. I need a 16 millimeter. Okay, hey, forget it. I'll do it with this one right here. It'll probably work. Ah, oh, shit! All right, never mind enough of this. I'm done. Hey, quick tip, my son. Go Google wrenches and see what you can learn. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, took me a while, too. And... you happy with it? I mean, your job? Living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, oh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, come on. It's wicked. 
I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um... By the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? Ah, 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 ah. Shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean... Yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home, would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun. But not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood. Even though he won't tell. The saw almost took my thumb off once. Come on, open up. Why? <gasps> because. Okay, okay. <sighs> what are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You ate my choco crisps. <sighs> Don't be pissed. You always see the whole box. What's with the sisters? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Oh, man. Damn, sounds pretty serious. Should I call an ambulance now before it's too late? Maybe. <laughs> All I can say is, watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is going to be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. Did she ask about me? <sighs> I'm sorry, dude. She's cheating on you. Shut up! And I don't even care if I can't go. Because... Because I have secret stuff to do. Alone. Of 
course you do. Daniel's always up to something. Wonder what's next. Hey, Jen. What's up? Oh, try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh my god, stop. Ugh. Hey, you wanna share my blanket? Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty. Gotta get that love blanket. Even if I don't hook up with Jen, at least I'll be warm. Dad said we could go to Mount Baker this year. The trails are insane. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. Finally ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Sorry, Lila. 